Hello friends and welcome to this week's Spiritual Gems section where we're going to be considering some ideas, some comments for Spiritual Gems and we're looking forward to it. We have very positive and exciting information in the Bible's reading for this week. Actually, we are studying the reading of the book of Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 1 and 2. That's the portion for this week's Bible reading. And now let's start. And thank you for watching. Thanks for being here. Now let's get started. The first question comes from Nehemiah chapter 2 and verse 4. So this says, the, king's, the king then said to me, what is, what is it that you are seeking? At once I pray to God of the heavens. Question. Was this a last-minute prayer of desperation, and what's the lesson for us? So we can respond, we can answer, no. That wasn't a last-minute prayer of desperation, because for a long time, Nehemiah had been praying day and night for the city of Jerusalem. What's the lesson for us? When we faced uh, important decisions, we must persevere in prayer and act in harmony with Jehovah's guidance. Second question. What spiritual gems from this week's Bible reading would you like to share regarding Jehovah, the field ministry, or something else? The first one comes from Nehemiah 1.1. This is an interesting detail like a... Nehemiah means Jehovah comforts, and we see that Nehemiah acted according to the meaning of his name. He had a mission, a purpose to encourage the spiritual matters. He let Jehovah use him. Without doubt, a good example for us of letting ourselves be used by Jehovah. Number two. One four. Sometimes we go through difficult situations and hard times, even important decisions, or perhaps it's happening to someone in our family or a brother in faith or best friends. When this happens, we must persevere in prayer and follow theocratic direction. Number three. Chapter 1, verse 5, Jehovah is a God of covenants who keeps his promises. So, we can imitate him by keeping our word and fulfilling our promises. Number 4, chapter 1, verse 6 and 7, we can perceive the humility of Nehemiah's heart when praying to God. He really was a spiritual man who recognized his faults instead of justifying himself. So we see and we see that he recognized and he was doing his best. Without doubt, that's a good example to imitate. About avoid excuses, avoid excuses and recognize our faults and try to do our best. Number 5 Chapter 1, verse 11 Nehemiah was a cupbearer to Persian king Artaxerxes. The king's cupbearer was not menial servant. The cupbearer could taste the king's wine to protect him from poisoning. The cupbearer thus had the king's unreserved confidence. The cupbearer was likely also a favorite official who had considerable influence with the king. So this is a very interesting detail about Nehemiah's work. Number 6, chapter 1, verse 11. We can find many applications or lessons from one scripture like this example. Uh, Jehovah answers the sincere prayers of his servants. We can mention the Psalm 86, 6 and 7. 
is related with this. Number 7. Chapter 2, verse 2 teaches about being observant. The face, the eyes of people can reveal how they feel. In the ministry, this is very useful. But we'll only know if we learn to observe, to be observant. And this can help us to encourage those who are sad or discouraged in the congregation or in the ministry or in our families. Number 8. Chapter 1, verse 11. Nehemiah's main source of joy was not his prestigious position as a cupbearer, it was the advancement of true worship. Should not Jehovah's worship and all that promotes it be our main or concern and chief source of joy? Number 9. Chapter 1, verse 11, Nehemiah started the day by begging Jehovah's blessing. This teaches us how important it is to start the day praying and thanking Jehovah and avoid leaving home without praying. How valuable and lovely lesson we find in this scripture. Number 10. Chapter 2 verse 10 teaches about being persevering and not allowing anything or anyone to prevent us from carry, carrying out our assignment, our purpose, despite the fact that Nehemiah went to them willingly to help, but there were those who were upset with him. They didn't welcome him. Sometimes we'll find this kind of people in our path, and perhaps because of envy, jealousy, who knows, but the matter is Nehemiah didn't give up, so we shouldn't give up either. So friends, we thank Jehovah because of his word, holy scriptures, where we find a source of wisdom for our day, practical counsel lessons for our life, daily life, and we want to thank you for watching and we invite you to subscribe to our channel. So, see you next time. We hope you enjoy your meeting and uh, thanks again for coming and see you next time. Bye!